This artwork is a painting by Theodore Gericault, a French romantic painter who was known for his dramatic and expressive style. The painting depicts three men on horseback wearing elaborate military uniforms in cream white, crimson red, and gold. They are part of Napoleon's Imperial Guard, a group of elite soldiers who fought for the French Emperor during the Napoleonic Wars. The painting is part of a series of small canvases that Gericault made between 1812 and 1814, inspired by his love for the horse and the pomp of military life. The painting is not based on any actual portraits, but rather on Gericault's imagination and idealization of the soldier. He used short, rapid brush strokes to create a sense of movement and energy in the figures, while using broader strokes to create a neutral background. He also used strong contrasts in color to make the figures stand out from the dark tones of the background. The figures are dressed in bright colors that match their uniforms and their horses' coats. The uniforms are trimmed with gold and have red sashes across their chests. The helmets have white crowns with red tassels and brass plaques with N letters. The trumpets are also decorated with gold tassels and have brass horns. The painting shows Gericault's admiration for Napoleon's military prowess and charisma, as well as his fascination with the horse as a symbol of freedom and power. The horses are dappled with silver, steel grey, and black, which create a striking contrast with their riders' skin tones. The horses also raise their front hooves as if they are about to gallop forward, creating a sense of dynamism and anticipation. The painting does not show any signs of war or defeat, but rather portrays a romantic image of military grandeur. The painting is currently displayed at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. The painting was received with mixed reactions by critics and audiences at the time. Some praised Gericault's bold and expressive style, while others criticized his lack of realism and accuracy. Here are some examples of the opinions expressed about the painting. In 1814, a critic named John Baptiste Debret wrote in the journal Des Debats that the painting was a masterpiece of imagination and genius that captured the spirit of war and the heroism of the soldiers. He also admired Gericault's use of color and light to create a dramatic effect. In 1815, a critic named Charles Blanc wrote in the same journal that the painting was a monstrous caricature that distorted the features and proportions of the soldiers. He also accused Gericault of being biased and partial to Napoleon, whom he blamed for the war and its consequences. He said that Gericault's painting was a dangerous weapon that could incite hatred and violence among the people. In 1816, a critic named François René de Chateaubriand wrote in his memoirs that he was impressed by Gericault's painting, but he also felt sorry for the soldiers who had to endure such hardships and dangers. He said that Gericault's painting showed the sublime passion of war, but also the misfortune of those who were involved in it. He said that Gericault's painting was a powerful appeal to humanity and compassion. As you can see, different critics had different views on Gericault's painting, depending on their political and moral perspectives. The audiences who saw the painting may have also had different reactions, depending on their personal experiences and emotions. What do you think about Gericault's painting? Do you like it or not? Why?